Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm just giving my two cents on whether the Chicago activist Andrew Holmes lied about seeing Kanika Jenkins walk into the freezer. And my opinion is, I think he did lie about seeing her walk into the freezer because all the videos that they released, it showed her walking through the hallways of the hotel, getting on the elevator and everything. But not once did it show her walking into the freezer. It did show her walking into the kitchen and all that other stuff. And I just think that it's very sad and it's very unfortunate because that totally didn't have to be. Now that the video footage has been released, I feel like somebody needs to be held accountable. And I feel like the hotel should be held accountable because if it was adequate security in the hotel, then it wouldn't have happened because all that noise that they was making from just, you know, listening to that music and people popping and drinking and all that other stuff. I think somebody did knock on the door and, you know, told them they had to be a little bit quiet. I know somebody inside the party was like, y'all got to be quiet. And it's sad because, you know, these teenagers just wanted to have a good time. And I think they should have went about it in a better way. You know, they were in a hotel room with beds and, you know, and being really sneaky. And I feel like they should have been out in the open at a bowling alley or something like that. So that, you know, if anything like that should go on, then, you know, people would be able to see it. And, you know, no one would get hurt like that. Um, I feel like the hotel needs to be held accountable for the simple fact that they should have had that area blocked off. And there should have been no way that anybody could get into that area and walk into the kitchen and into the freezer. That's just crazy. I feel like, you know, the hotel needs to be sued because if they would have had more security, you know, securing the floors and watching the floors and everything, that wouldn't happen. Not only that, I've read where the hotel was booked by a man and a woman with a stolen credit card. So that's credit in itself. Then, you know, y'all don't verify whether, you know, people's credit cards are valid. And it could have also been more than just Kanika Jenkins that, you know, was found in a freezer or found anywhere else in that hotel. I think that it was wrong that they let the um, activist Andrew Holmes see the video first. It should have been no way that he saw the video first. I don't care what type of activist he was. I don't care what he had going on in his family. You know, his um, daughter was shot and killed two years ago. And then... Um, he also had a niece that was 11 that was also shot this year in February. So I could understand that he wants to get to the bottom of it to make sure that, you know, nothing really happened to this girl as far as what everybody was saying. But like I said, it's no way it would have been my child and anybody would have saw any video footage first but me. You know, I don't think it's right how they have been doing the family. You know, I feel like... um. It's a lesson learned for her friends. You know, I was on Facebook and I saw where, um, you know, Monifa Shelton, she did have her Facebook, the main Facebook page that she was on. Now she didn't clear it all out, but she has another Facebook page and people are on that Facebook page harassing her. I think that all these teenagers that was at that party, because, you know, it could have been them. I think that they are, you know, some of them will learn a valuable lesson, you know, because it could have been them. And, you know, you see Kanika in the video where, you know, she's standing up and she's partying. And in the party, she looks like she's fucked up. And you see where a girl, you know, brings a glass of water out and say, I'm going to give this glass of water to another girl because she's fucked up. So that's somebody else fucked up in there. So it was a lot of pill popping. But like I said, I feel like the hotel needs to be sued. If it were like me, I think it should be shut down. I, there's no way I would want to be in a hotel like that because that shit could happen again. It could happen again. But um, I think that it should be sued. I think that um, there's a very unfortunate situation for Kanika Jenkins' mother. I so, so feel so bad for her mother. I'm glad that um, so far the truth has come out. It bothers me that I still have not seen this girl walk into the freezer. But Andrew Holmes claimed that he saw her walk into the freezer. But um, I don't believe it. But I'm glad that more things have come out to the light. And I just wanted to give my two cents on that. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this on up. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with us. And I'm out.